Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. A lot of my readers are really concerned about self-defense and home protection, uh, basically defending their families. And of course, in these crazy times, I think it's wise to at least be thinking about those things. A lot of people have bought short-barreled defensive shotguns lately in order to defend their home. A lot of my readers ask, should I buy buckshot? Should I buy slugs? Should I buy birdshot? I'm just really confused. Can you help me? Now, keep in mind, this isn't a comprehensive training video about how to effectively deploy a shotgun in a combat situation. All I want to do is give you just a real quick look at the basic differences between buckshot, which in this case is nine pellets, about 32 or 33 caliber, my left hand, I have a typical two and three quarter inch number eight shot, 12 gauge, something that you would go dove hunting with. Now, which one is most effective in your home defense shotgun? A few things you need to keep in mind. Buckshot will penetrate just like you were shooting a 380 automatic or a nine millimeter. It'll penetrate multiple walls inside of your house more than likely. Now, if you live alone and out in the woods, then that may not be a problem. But if you have family members in the house or neighbors who are close by, overpenetration is a serious problem and something you need to think about. And that's maybe where birdshot is a good option. Birdshot, since it's very small BBs, tend to underpenetrate. Now that doesn't mean they're ineffective against an unprotected bad guy. We actually took buckshot and took number eight shot and shot it at a target that was about five yards away. What I want you to pay attention to is the fact that at close range, they're virtually equally effective. Now granted, you can argue that the buckshot may be more effective because it'll penetrate better, and I won't argue the point with you. But if you're concerned about overpenetration, you're concerned about other family members in the house, being armed with 12 gauge shotgun loaded with number eight birdshot will absolutely protect you and your family. Okay, we made these two shots at about five yards. And this is an old Remington 870 police trade-in shotgun, and it's got a cylinder bore, so there's essentially no choke whatsoever. It's pretty short-barreled, and it's pretty typical of a lot of the home defense type shotguns that you buy nowadays, made by Remington or Mossberg or Benelli, anybody like that. What we've learned here is we have number eight bird shot here, and then we have double up buck shot over here. What I'm trying to show you here is the fact that at five yards, which is essentially across the room, if you're using this as a defensive shotgun, this is actually very significant. And you'll see the majority of the shot are clustered right in here. And this is what's called a rat hole effect wound. This is where a large portion of the shot actually went through, causing a, a very significant wound. Over here, of course, you have the 32, 33 caliber pellets that have spread out in a little bit of a distance. This may be more effective for you because it does cover a larger area. And at these distances, both would be very lethal and would more than likely stop any threat that you had. So if you have a sporting shotgun, there's certainly nothing wrong, I feel, to use birdshot of some kind at close range home defense situations. The additional advantage of that is the fact that the birdshot generally won't over penetrate, uh, won't pass through two or three walls. The buckshot being solid lead 32 or 33 caliber projectile tends to really penetrate and that could endanger neighbors or family members in other rooms. So you need to think about this personally and do a little experimenting like we did here with your shotgun just to see what kind of patterns. But make a wise decision, always be safe, be sure of your target, make sure you have a light if possible, get some training. All we wanted to do was just give you something to think about here. I'm Roy Huntington, and thanks for tuning in.